Hey friends, today I'm going to be talking about the new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder and I'll show you how it wears. I am first put it on at around 12.30 so I'll show you how this wears throughout the day. I'll probably do a check in around 9 p.m. or so, 8 or 9. So yeah, I'll show you what this looks like on the skin and how it performs. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. All right, so I have my foundation on, I have my concealer on, I'm looking not the best. I have a little blemish here, if you can see. So I'm going to be showing you and sharing a little information about the NARS, uh, what is it called? Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. This is what it looks like. Comes in a super thin case. Um, I was a little worried that this wouldn't have a ton of product in it because I mean look how skinny it is um, but I was just comparing it to other powders like I have the Pat McGrath um, highlight here so this is 8.5 grams and this is actually 9 grams so it does have more than you would expect I think the Dior powder no powder might have a little bit more than I thought it did but anyways so this is a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that helps to blur imperfections, smooths the skin, and sets makeup for 24 hours. So the coverage is medium, it's a matte finish, but it also says natural finish, so I would say it's a matte finish for sure. Um, it's good for acne and blemishes, it's very long wearing and best for oily skin, which I would also agree with because it's a matte finish. Um, the coverage is, or sorry, the color is Cove, which is described as light with warm tone which I would agree with. You can see it leans a little more on the kind of yellowy undertone, but it does go lighter on the face than it looks in the container. Um, <clears throat> I noticed there's only eight shades online, which I was kind of like, really? Eight? That's it? I don't know. I, like this is not a foundation, so they're obviously not going to come out with as many shades as you would expect, but I feel like eight is just not enough. I mean, at least come out with like 12. Cause I feel like they could use one lighter shade and definitely like three or four darker shades so I mean you can be the judge of that but yeah so I'll get to applying this on my face sorry I'm at my parents place and you guys are currently balancing on a selfie stick so I'm afraid I'm trying not to move anything okay so I'm gonna go in it says to apply it with circular motions from the center of the face out, which I never apply my powder in circular motions. I'll just kind of dab it in. So I'm going to just do that because that's what I've been doing. So I'm going in with just the Beauty Blender Puff and I don't put a ton on here, but a lot does come off. It does say it's a medium coverage. I would say it's more like a, I would actually agree that it is a medium coverage. Um, I do start in the center of my face as they mentioned but I don't do the circular motion so I just kind of pat it in and I mean I have super large pores I have a combination oily skin and I did use the um, light reflecting foundation because I wanted to use a glowier foundation to show you that it can take the shine down um, I used it with the makeup by Mario foundation the other day and I liked it a lot better because even though I knew it had a glow to it sometimes I could end the day looking pretty shiny and I just found this definitely calmed that down and for sure made it last all day and I wasn't glowy at all which is kind of the point of the foundation but I don't know I think I just need to come to terms with the fact that I just like looking matte so here we go. You can see definitely a lot of pores here. Like I said, you're still going to see pores because it doesn't erase them. What I do find is it, it definitely does smooth the look of lines and wrinkles for sure. And I have a huge problem with my nose getting super oily. And with this, not oily at all. So, I mean, I'm really liking it so far. Again, I don't love that NARS 
went from being cruelty free and they went backwards and I don't understand why that would ever happen. I know it's to sell to China and there's a lot of stuff with that, but why? Why are we going backwards? So I don't love to purchase from brands that do testing on animals. But again, I have to do my research because I didn't know that a lot of brands still do. L'Oreal does, which <laughs> I love L'Oreal foundations. Like why guys, why? Anyway, this is a conversation for another day. So I'm just gonna continue applying. But like right there, you can see that definitely did a lot of blurring. Again, pores aren't gonna disappear. I'm well aware of that, but I like to blur 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 them as much as I can I do have a blemish down here I'm trying to cover that a little bit more um, I did hear some people saying that they felt like this was heavy on the skin I haven't had that feeling I mean I do I guess I'm just gonna show you like this literally like blurs this line completely like I have a little wrinkle there and I feel like it just completely softens the look. I mean, it, again, it doesn't take it away. It's not a miracle powder, but yeah, sorry. So some people with, I've noticed the people who are saying they think it looks heavy are kind of like a drier to normal skin type. So I do feel like it makes sense that they would feel like it looks heavy because they're probably used to something glowier, lighter texture. Um, but for me, I don't know. I just think like my nose right now, like, yes. I just feel like it looks so good. And I just could not believe, like I did a full on leg workout yesterday. And usually, especially around this area, I'll be super shiny because I'm wearing a mask, I'm breathing heavily. So this whole area is like very shiny and moist. <laughs> Sorry, disgusting, but it's true. So in that area, yesterday I took my mask off and I was like, oh my God, this looks so good. I know what you're thinking. Why did you wear makeup to the gym? Well, I was out before that and then I went to the gym and I was too lazy to take it off whatever not that anybody cares but yeah so this is what it's looking like so far I am gonna do the rest of my makeup I'll come back um, I'll t show you what that's looking like with all my makeup on and and then I'll do a little wear test for you guys I am gonna do I'm probably just gonna do like a cardio workout today not at the gym so I will be wearing a mask when I go out in a bit I'm gonna go to Sephora and visit my friend she's working today hi girl um, and then I'll come back, do a cardio workout. I'll probably do some grocery shopping, so I'll probably be wearing a mask for that as well. And I'll just show you how it's worn. But yeah, so far, I I think I've worn this, when did I get it? Last week? Probably worn it like four times so far, and I love it. I don't wanna love it, but I love it. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit to show you how it's wearing. Okay, so makeup is all done um i forgot to mention i don't get any detectable fragrance from this powder it's definitely not a dior givenchy Guerlain. like there's no i'm not saying there's no fragrance but definitely none that i can pick up immediately um i did want to mention this gloss as well i did make a short about this but this is so beautiful. This is the um, glossed Sephora collection gloss. You can't see it, it looks green for some reason, but the sparkles are actually gold and they're just so pretty. This is the shade Strut and I wanted the, if you can see, I wanted the Dior Pure Gold um, lip gloss and I just cheaped out and I didn't end up getting it and then it sold out and I was regretting not getting it so I ended up finding this and I was like this is stunning 
so I'm so happy I found it and at a fraction of the price. I don't know if you can see the little gold flecks, the sparkle, but oh, so beautiful. Put it on my hand here. But yeah, if you wanted that gloss and you didn't get it like me, definitely go for this one. Amazing. Um, I also picked up the mini, what's it called? Westman Atelier, the... God, what's wrong with me the little biscuit contour stick they, it came in a mini and I just wanted to try it before I bought a big one because I've been wanting it for a long time and that one is beautiful I didn't bring the proper brush I'm at my parents place right now I didn't bring the proper brush but I don't know I just really like it and I'm wearing the Gucci blush in warm berry kind of went a little heavy-handed but I love that blush like i've been obsessed with it and then again i went in with the the uh sephora color shifter i didn't realize that this is limited edition why do they do that like the best stuff they come out with they make limited edition but this is beautiful i've been loving this um yeah so i'm gonna do my workout i'm gonna go get everything done that i have to get done probably do some grocery shopping go visit my friend at work and then i'll check in with you guys in a bit show you how this is wearing so this is what it looks like up close i do have a little blemish there and i got a hive here it's not from the powder because i've worn this multiple times but sometimes that just happens so yeah i'll be back with the check-in all right, so I've, sorry, I'm gonna turn this down. Um, so I've gone to Sephora, just checking if I'm greasy, that's highlight, not oil. But my nose is really holding up good, the chin is good, the forehead is good. So, this is what's up right now. Um, yeah, everything's looking matte and good it is 506 so i still have to do my workout which i'm dreading i still have to go grocery shopping which i'm also dreading but this is what we're looking like about four hours in five four and a half hours so i'll be back all right guys so it is the end of the day 8 58 p.m this is what the face is looking like A little bit of shine on the forehead but it's not greasy and don't forget I'm wearing the light reflecting foundation so I mean I just did like a half an hour workout too and I mean it wasn't super intense but it was all cardio so I definitely got a good little sweat on um hopefully this lighting is okay I did just touch up my lip gloss but that was it um I wanted to show you these too just while I'm here look at how cute these clips are I love the colors of them they are so cute I meant to show them earlier I had them in front of me but there's I think six of them so you get these little ones and you get these ones but I gave a couple to my mom but yeah I just thought they were so cute so these are from Amazon and I also just changed my sweater I got this sweater from Amazon too and it's the comfiest and coziest sweater I've ever put on my body um Taylor Wynn is actually the one who I don't know why I pointed over there like Taylor's right over there she's not um Taylor Wynn actually uh did a video I think it was during Christmas time and she was wearing this like she's like I can't stop wearing it so I got it and I have a feeling I will not be able to stop wearing it either but anyways how do we like the powder we love the powder like honestly look how smooth my forehead looks you can barely see my wrinkles and trust me i have them so i have loved this powder and i cannot stop wearing it i've used it every single day since i got it and i'm obsessed i'm obsessed so yeah if you have any questions please um comment down below but like I said, if you are dry, you might feel like this is heavy on you. But if you're oily, it definitely just absorbs your oils and it almost looks better as the day goes on. 
So yeah, if you're an oily combo, I feel like you will absolutely love this powder. So anyways, that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe if you're not already. And thank you so much for watching. Love ya. Bye.